first car I ever started to modify was my 2012 Civic Si. I think that was the car that uh, I started my YouTube channel with. It was originally this Si guy. That was my channel name. So obviously I started with all like the little ricer new car guy mods, all the stickers, the new emblems, the plasti dip wheels, all of that stuff. But I filmed all of it. So it's really cool if you go back and look, you can see like literally me first starting out as a car guy by like changing the JDM emblems or plastic dipping my wheels, having no idea how to do anything. And to look at it now, it's just like, what happened? It's like, it's crazy. What's up guys, it's Dustin. And this is my 2012 Honda Civic Si. Got it in white, looks awesome. So keep staying tuned to my channel because I'll definitely have more videos on my car and some updates on what I do to it. And I'll help you guys do whatever I do too. So I'll have tutorials and everything. Stay tuned. Thanks guys, this is Dustin. See you next week. My name is Dustin Williams. We are in my personal garage, I guess you'd call it Garage Legends. It is April 29th, 2019. I have around 376,000 subscribers on YouTube. I went to college in Mississippi and I studied criminal justice. My plan was to be like a police officer and hopefully move into like a federal agency or something like that. And I always did YouTube on the side. Uh, through doing YouTube, I met my friend Danny. Danny and his friends, like TJ and all of them, through a car show out here. And I just met a bunch of really cool people, such as uh, Throttle and TJ and all of those guys. And then I was actually offered a job by Throttle to come out here and film and edit their videos for them while also being able to do my own YouTube work on the side. And I packed up everything that I had to my name in my WRX and we made the cross country trip. For six months out here, I consistently worked for Throttle and did my own thing on the side. I lived uh, at Danny's parents' house for those six months and slept on his couch and stuff until I could afford my own place. It's what I've always wanted to do. It's what I was into and it's like, I had to take the chance. We are transporting the cars to the open house right now. We have a lot to do. We have two days. Two days to get the entire thing set up. All the cars there. We have five cars, by the way, to get an hour and a half away. We can do it, right? I think I, I started Legends back when I was in Mississippi. I made like these little box stickers that just said Legends and Legends Never Die. It was like Legends is what I wanted my, my business to be called. I never really understood how to like start a brand or start a business or anything like that. We started out doing a little bit of merch and then people just really, really liked it. Once I noticed that people were actually liking the, the merchandise too, I wanted to make it more than just, you know, YouTube. Legends Media merch. I want it to be an actual streetwear apparel brand and like bring like the street style into what we're doing. First year was really a huge learning experience for me, seeing what everybody liked, what they don't like, things I can change and make better. And uh, we took a huge break. We completely closed down the site, taking what I learned from the first year and 
implementing everything into the rebrand. And the best way that I wanted to celebrate this rebrand is to invite everybody to come out, bring their own cars, and let's just have an awesome party for legends. This is the weirdest gas can I've ever. Yeah. You literally have to milk this bad boy. Just milk in a gas can. I started making YouTube videos because uh, originally I was just really interested in film. I loved to like filming videos, editing videos. I would watch like the original OG YouTubers that would like put the drapes behind them and just talk to the camera. Like that's what I loved. In 10th grade of high school, I will always remember this. Me and a couple of friends had asked our teacher if we could make videos of these books that we were reading instead of writing these essays. And she said, yeah. So me and two other guys that just like to film and make cool stuff, we actually got together and we would film all these stupid, funny little English videos that she would then play for the entire class, which was just like super cool. Later on in the 10th grade is when I got my first car and I figured, hey, I'm doing it. Might as well just, you know, film it and see what happens. And yeah, I started YouTube. <laughs> About a year ago, I met uh, my manager, Jessica. She helps me out with getting all of the merchandise, things like that, and she was really the one that talked me into like starting this and like this could really be something. You're already doing it, why not make it you know, real? My name is Jessica, and we are at Dustin Williams Open House. I do a lot of things. I drive cars really fast. I boss people around, but I also do merchandise for Dustin. He was friends with Tanner Fox, who I work with pretty closely, and um, that's really where our relationship started. He went on tour with us about a year ago, and we became really good friends. This weekend, Sunday, um, we're having a open house for Dustin for his launch of the Garage Legends product and uh, show off his cars and do a bunch of really cool, fun stuff. This took a lot of planning and work. Uh, Probably about two, three months of work put into this, I would say. I think Dustin's really happy with everything and I, I do think it will pay off. I think everyone's gonna have a really good time. It's a great location, easy to get in and out of, good space, everyone's gonna have a ton of fun and I think uh, we're giving away a bunch of product that people are gonna love, so I think it'll be good and it will pay off for sure. Yeah, I'm still. It's a lot different than, how are you? You see this? What do you think? This is insane, it's an actual store. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm so mind blown right now. My name's Tiana. Dustin and I are engaged. I'm his fiance. I couldn't be more proud of him. When we met, Legends wasn't really a thing. There wasn't a warehouse, there wasn't five cars, there wasn't merch drops every month. None of that was a thing. Thinking back to about a year ago, around this time, I think he had just done his like first drop. And a year later, he's probably on what, his like 10th drop and he has a warehouse, he has five cars, he brings in an awesome amount of people and subscribers and fans and has just built this brand to be something bigger than himself.
Having a storefront of all of my Legends gear was, was pretty crazy. I mean, I came from doing it in my studio apartment by myself to actually having like all of my accessories in a glass case, having a real store with racks of all of my clothes from year one. Seeing from where I started in the very, very beginning with like 20 stickers for sale, it left me speechless the first time I saw it. This is real and it's like, we can, we can still do better. Evo was definitely a car that I've always wanted. That's when I met the entire motorsports guys and we brainstormed for a few months on how we can make this build unique, how we can make it different, how we can make it reliable. But that's what really started the whole uh, crazy front mount intercooler placement, front forward facing turbo. It came out better than I could have ever imagined.
I think about a year ago now, um, I got a call at three o'clock in the morning from the police saying that someone had hit my car on the street, which I thought it was like a minor fender bender or whatever. So I go out there at three o'clock in the morning and the front end of my car is completely gone. Uh, it's two o'clock in the morning. Just got word that they got a hit and run on my WRX. We're gonna go check it out. My uh, dad's calling me. Really bad situation. Hello? Hey, buddy. Hey. Look, I have the police on the, on the other end. <sighs> Currently walking to go check out my car. Apparently there's been a hit and run on it. Fully totaled, not drivable. <sighs> so there's the, the cop car right there. So here is the aftermath. Oh my god. <sighs> That's really bad. It is really sucks. A drunk driver hit my WRX and ran and they never caught the guy but my car was absolutely just destroyed. Everything's meant to happen I guess. Uh, I can't really do much until the morning so I'll see you guys then. All right so it is the next morning after I got news about what happened so we're heading out to the car right now. The car's still on the street. We can't really do anything with it until insurance comes looks at it. So Here's the car. Now look at all these damages. The fender's destroyed. There's a frame down here. That's bent in there. Yeah, that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm dealing with. My consistency on making these videos and the support from you guys really just like pushed me to keep going and to keep making content and to keep wanting to do this. So um, I guess just all the support from the videos is what really kept me going. It was hard. It was really hard because the Subaru was like my car like the one that started all of this for me the one that i drove out to san diego in what is up guys today me and danny are taking our first what how should I, we're taking our, our first trip across america we're taking our trip across america honestly it i thought it was gonna well it was supposed to be totaled but um i didn't have the front crash beam on the car so this insurance wasn't liable to total the car out which is actually pretty crazy so we completely fixed it and it's pretty much like perfect now so. I share so much of my life with you guys and I guess some of you now know that I am officially 100% competing in summer shredding and my prep has started. I'm about 16 weeks out now. So, I mean, I shared my engagement, my life, moving here, literally everything. And now this prep is gonna be 95% of my entire life, so. He goes to the gym every single day, um, every morning. He has to eat six meals a day and meal prep all of those out. They have to be weighed because it has to be like specific ounces or specific grams for whatever it may be. I'm doing a bodybuilding show called Summer Shredding on June 29th. When I set my mind to something, I like do it 110% and it drives me crazy if like I don't work as hard as I possibly can and especially with the end goal, I have to know that I gave everything I could. Right now I can probably say it takes over about 85 to 90% of my life. Uh, it's pretty crazy, but I think it's gonna be worth it.
have made it back to Casey's car. This is what I'll be shooting today. Sorry, Chris. Mine now. Mine now. I wouldn't say that I'm only a vlogger or an influencer. I, I'm a creator, I own a business, and you have to think of these things as a business. So um, from the outside, it could for sure look like, oh, I just pick up a camera every day and be goofy, but no. I mean, like, I'm sitting for hours planning out how we can make this video or uh, rerouting things when something doesn't go as planned or these parts that don't come in I was supposed to make a video on. I mean, a lot goes on behind the scenes that people don't realize, especially with owning a business and making sure things run smoothly, not only on the YouTube channel, but also for legends. It's always been my dream to like film and just build cars. And I think it's important to take chances while you have the opportunity. My fiance, Tiana, she is unbelievable. I honestly could say I really wouldn't have most of the things I have without her. She pushes me to be the best I can possibly be. I knew very soon um, into him and I just even getting to know each other that there was definitely gonna be a future, a very long future. Dustin and I met in a parking lot, actually. I was going on a hike with one of my friends, Amanda. There were like all of these supercars, like Lamborghinis, Ferraris. So we were like, oh, on our way to our hike, let's just go walk around and check it out. Dustin and his friend, Zach, came up and started talking to us. And that's literally how we met. He was on a rally. He was actually filming like that rally. She's just unreal and she helps me through pretty much everything. She travels to Tune Revolution with me, she sets up the booth, she's extremely hardworking and like I said, a lot of the things that I have are because of her, especially in my personal life and my mental health and stuff. Like she is truly my best friend and the person that I get to spend the rest of my life with. Dustin Williams to me is my best friend and my like biggest. I can't even do this right now. He's my biggest supporter, which I think is something that 
a lot of people don't get to see because I feel like everyone gets to see like the YouTube and the legends and things like that because um, I'm always around it and helping with it. But for the things that people don't get to see, um, I think that's one of my, oh God, I got it, I got it. I think that's one of my like favorite things about him too. Well, originally talking with Dustin, he's like, oh, maybe, maybe 50 to 100 people. You know, the more I look on social media and the talk about it, I feel like there's going to be at least probably two to 500 people, but could be in the upwards of, I don't know, a thousand people. It's really hard to say. I'm a little bit nervous, but I think it'll be okay. This past weekend on Sunday, April 28th, we threw the Legends open house and originally, I had expected for a hundred people to show up to the event. I had no idea what I was getting myself into or what the team was getting into. So we had, yeah, we had planned for a hundred people to come and I think over a thousand people showed up. My name's Nick, I'm from Buffalo, New York. So I had time off of work and I wanted to come see Dustin and all the guys around here in SoCal, so might as well. Well, we're waiting to get into the store. I'm here with my boyfriend and his friends. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get some merch, but we're gonna take pictures with Dustin and his girl. We got here about an hour ago, like yeah. at 10. We knew the line would get this crazy. Is <laughs>
It is going. This is absolutely insane. You guys have like blown my mind beyond anything. Like, wow. This is the coolest thing ever. I don't even, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. I have no idea what time it is, but I feel like it's five hours later. It's 1.45. Wow. So we're not even two hours into the event. It's just, it's so crazy. I heard there's cars parked like down to the hospital, like two miles away. It's unreal. Legends Media um, open house. All the faces I see on YouTube over here, so it's pretty cool. I met Crispy Media, I met Dustin, I've met Kevin, uh, Randy from Eliminate. I saw my uh, Sparkle steering wheel, so it's pretty cool. Garage Legends, like, I guess it would be you of like your passion for a car, I guess you could say. Your car represents you, like how you drive it around. When people look at your car, they're like, oh, that's that guy, that's his style, that's everything, you know? So. That's it. <laughs> I think a garage legend is someone that puts in the work and dedication. It doesn't matter what car they have, but as long as you know, uh, you do, you, you have what you have, and then you put in the work to make it nicer. Sure. Yeah, I think a garage legend is someone that puts in the work to actually get something done. Both the car and the person makes a, a garage a legend. If they have uh, influence and um, uh, a good reputation. What I think makes up a garage legend is someone who works on their own cars independently, have fun doing it, and just go and show off their builds and you know help the community learn and, and learn new things about them. Yeah, so I tried to help out Dustin with most of his cars. Uh, I helped him out with the Zevo, tried fabricating a couple parts for him. I think the turnout is actually great. Um, it's a lot better than I think even he anticipated. There's a ton of people, a lot of good cars out here, a lot of great people, and I think everything's coming out pretty good. The idea behind this was to throw a party for the first year of Legends being a success, basically. One of my favorite parts was just looking around, seeing everyone in the Legends gear, having a good time, laughing, smiling, seeing the cars, having all of my friends come out, a couple friends from eight hours away, one from Seattle, which is 20 hours away, just having an amazing time laughing and meeting new people. And that's what I really envisioned for the open house, was just for everybody to have fun and celebrate what Legends has become so far, and it's only gonna keep getting better. Thank you all for coming out. Yes, you guys, really yes. This is crazy. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Beautiful. I wish I got that ticket. For some Yokohama tires. Anybody going once? Oh, we got a winner and he's wearing an elimination. <laughs> Today was seriously 
better than I could have ever imagined. You guys you really showed up and killed it. Like my mind's blown and I'm speechless. It's just I don't even know what else to say. It's crazy. You're nervous, man. You can tell. You're super nervous. Dustin's Legends open house was absolutely unreal. I think it was more than any of us could have hoped for. I think we had a line that wrapped around the entire building pretty much from 12 to five the entire time. Seeing the, the amount of support yesterday and meeting all of you guys for a straight five hours and nonstop line, it was just, it was amazing. The coolest thing to see is the amount of people that love him and support him just as much as I do. I think that that was like the coolest thing for me to see. It's what I do all of this for and that's like what I wanted is for you guys to come meet me and interact with me and you guys can tell me what you like, what I can do better, just things like that and just really getting to interact on a personal level I think is what every creator really likes is just like meeting the people who support you and that's like what I, what I want from every event that we throw or every event that I, that I go to. I'm beyond proud. It's insane. It's like insane. I'm so honored and fortunate enough that I just get to be like along the ride with him and watch him go from one car to this. Like it's, it's absolutely wild, but it's awesome and it's a lot of fun. What's to come for the future is, is pretty crazy, I think. I mean, I want to continue to grow. Um, a big goal of mine, whether it be 2019 or, or 2020, is to start my own uh, car show, car meet, whatever you want to call it. And I think the open house was a good taste of what we could have. Um, and I really want to step that up. So I want to continue to do YouTube and continue to build cars, but also get more comfortable showing my personal life and not only just cars, because I think it's important to show that I am a person, I don't just like cars and work on cars. My dream, my life goal for a car would be to own a Skyline R34 and I'm working on that right now. I think what makes a garage legend is someone who is passionate in what they do that uh, sets a goal and crushes the goal, whether it be building a car or whatever they do, it's not caring what other people think around them and it's doing what they personally love and making it exactly what they want no matter what somebody else tells them. I think my favorite car is my Skyline GTR. As a kid, I think that's like the car that I've always, always, always wanted from playing Need for Speed and unlocking it at the very end for seeing like the, the JDM stories about it or like it's the JDM legend and just like the whole culture behind that car is what made me fall in love with it. It's just a fun car to drive. I mean, taking it to the canyons and driving it in the mountains, it's just like, it's a crazy awesome feeling. Having wanted it forever as a kid to having it now, it just like, it makes every drive worth it knowing that like I can, I actually made that dream come true.
is up guys uh dustin here 1000 subscribers that is amazing i cannot thank you guys enough for uh coming to my channel subscribing sharing my videos liking my videos 1000 subscribers is bigger than i ever imagined my channel would be and that is awesome i learned this one from tiana Hope you enjoyed that. First base medal winning his class, Dustin Wilson. Yeah! 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 Let's go, baby! He is buff. Very, He's a very big buff. Almost nice like, dude. almost like me, but. What do you see? Dustin and Randy. Randy short. Hell yeah. <laughs> How short is Randy? Like this. <laughs> like How much is Dustin? <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> first met him it did it took him a couple months for him <laughs> to fart in front of me but his friends would be like no like his friends would be like no you seriously like you don't understand I'm like you guys like everyone farts whatever it's not that big of a deal then he did it for the first time oh my gosh I texted everyone in the group message I said my nostrils are singed SOS call 911 where's the mic here guys it's <laughs> not even that bad it is not the worst not bad <laughs> 